All right, we got All right, let's talk about uh, how to set up the tank here for the proper settings. First thing you're going to do is check and see what's going on here. Um, I can see that there is nothing in the tank gauge. This gauge tells you how much is actually in this tank. I can see that there's nothing showing in the, the line gauge. This shows how much gas is actually flowing through the line up to the MIG machine. Um, and also when I look at the, uh, the tank here, it's clockwise closed, just like a water tap, it's closed all the way. And when I take a look at the regulator, it is loose. It's free spinning, which means it is not engaged. If you come up to this thing and this regulator's tight, you better make sure you back it off till it's free spinning before you start anything. That's the most important thing. If this thing's in tight, when you open this tank, you'll have immediate gas flowing through. Uh, and that's not uh, how you want to start things, especially when you're dealing with uh, flammable gases. So this thing is wheeled all the way out here. If you go too far, you're going to get in trouble. See, you're going to have this thing fall right out. We don't need to go that far. We just need to go until it's got this free spinning feeling. All right, so here's how you open up this tank when you first use it. First thing is I don't want to stand right in front of these gauges normally uh, because if this gauge is malfunctioning, you're going to have a potential explosion of a gauge and this gauge can explode directly at you. So what I usually do when I open a tank is I spin it away from me. Then I crack this tank just a little bit to see what happens to the gauges. And you'll see that this tank gauge is now open. It's showing that there is some left in this tank. Not a lot left, but it's showing that there is some left. Okay? Now I'm going to open this all the way. It's important to open this cylinder all the way. It's going to help prevent leaking. Okay? So that's all the way open. Next thing we want to do is we want to allow gas to flow to our MIG machine. So I'm going to slowly turn this and it's free spooling still, it's just freewheeling and suddenly I can feel some, some friction. So now as I feel friction, if you watch this gauge closely, you'll see that as I turn this, you're going to get some actual gas flowing in through the line. So of course it's not flowing yet, it's just showing how much flow we will get. I'm going to come all the way up to this black line that I've put as a felt marker and that's there to help people just uh, understand. We want this thing set at 25 CFH, 25 cubic feet per hour. And we know that that's what we want to set at because the machine has a chart that tells us. But there's a little line, we come to the line and we're good to go. That's how you are going to set it up so that you have the gas settings proper for using the MIG welder in uh, both MIG rooms.